Okay, this is take two of starting this recording. Uh, again, like I said before, that you guys don't know is I am not going to be doing an intro because I am lazy. Well, I guess this is kind of the intro. Okay, so what we we're doing today is we're going to actually do a regrow farm tutorial as truly DJ on the stream last sun Saturday was asking for it. So yeah, this is going to be my little tutorial for it. I'm going to show it without using, well, actually I'm going to show it with using uh, heroes, but you don't really have to. You can just go an alternative route. It will cost a little more money, but you can do it all the same. Uh, what I'm going to use is at least one farmer. And then I'm going to also use a beekeeper. This is kind of how you can start off and go only straight for straight for the farms, because that's kind of what you want to do. So you just kind of place your beekeeper here. You get good map coverage. He's basically a uh, two zero glue or a two one glue, one of the two, and it works pretty well. So yeah, we're gonna probably whip through these early rounds here, and then as soon as you can, you just go for a farm. I like to use this side area down here to place them. Farms on medium are a thousand, and we're doing this on medium to get a little more XP a little faster, because you do get more the stronger the or the harder the difficulty. And when you want to start the regen farm is round forty nine, so we're gonna kind of we're gonna go to there at some point. So yeah, I'm probably gonna cut most of this, and basically all you do is you keep getting farmers up, or you keep getting farms up. So I can actually just place my farmer now right here where he gets pretty good coverage. He's right under the tree, he sits here. And there we go. And yeah, now you just keep saving for farms. Okay guys, quick little thing as we're just about to afford our banana plantation here. I genuinely prefer to go for the plantations over just regular banana farm span. Just Mainly it's a force habit from uh, Bloons Tea to Battles, but I'm not sure if it's any better or not. You guys can try your luck with the different ways to do it. This is a pretty quick and easy way to get to a regen farm. It doesn't take very long at all. And then once you have the regen farm going, you just kind of leave it going. Uh, we might leak a few lives here, so we're going we're gonna to spike that once just to save on the lives to make it look all nice. But uh, yeah, so we did start to struggle there just a little bit, so I guess that was the perfect time to unpause the recording. So... You want to get your wizard right about here. This is going to be your lead popping power and also your regen farm starter. And you can just kind of keep this wizard here the whole time. He'll stick around, help you out. And we're just going to continue going for farms. So we can go with this till about round 40 ish. I think there's a mob right on round 40. So we're going to kind of head up to there. So if you guys start to notice that you're leaking a lot of lives, like I am right now. I haven't done a regen farm. Like I've done it recently, but I haven't done it like really, really recently. So once you start finding you're going to leak a few more lives, you can start saving up and going for a quick lightning. It'll basically solo everything from that point on. Sadly, the wizard cannot reach here. It is quite upsetting. You'd think he'd just have just enough range. I believe if you put the wizard a little further over, maybe right here, yeah, he'd reach, but it's not the best spot for the regen farm because here it at least pushes all the balloons all the way down. So you want to throw them as far as possible to give them as much time to regen. But we're going to go for that lightning very quickly here. And now we're good. Keep going for the farms. Okay guys, so on round 24 we have our first camel balloon. So we just get our wizard up to a monkey sense. And that's it for the camel balloon. And then just continue farming. I'm at the four and a half farms if right now. Four farms. And yeah, we're just going to keep going with this. Okay, right, guys, so we got a big zebra round here. We got a bit of regen, so it might be a little more difficult. Uh, we should be fine. We might need to spike it a few times. Yeah, we'll just spike it. Hold them off right there. And that's it. And you can leak a few lives. Well, you can leak as many lives as you want as long as you don't die. It doesn't matter too, too much. It doesn't make a difference when you're doing the regen farm. The regen farm will kill you if anything gets through, really. So, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go for a Republic and then we're going to stop our farming from there on and we're going to build up a bit more defense. Really get ready for the Moab. And we're going to spike that. 
because you know they can like three lives and all that. Oh, that. So go for our Banana Republic, and then what we can start doing is. I don't like how this cannon's free, but just imagine I'm down a six hundred fifty dollars. So you can start going for a can. You can just go for brags to start. That'll be fairly good against a mob, anyways. We will want to get at least a couple maulers, and then help out with camel balloons and balloon pot and power. We can go for a double shot ninja with misdirection because that'll throw the balloons back without getting the tornado just yet. So this is how we're going to prepare for our Moab defense. Then we're going to oh, make sure to have your cannon set to strong. That's important. Then we're going to start going for some maulers. And yeah, this should be pretty good. We are at round 35. We got five rounds. So from here on, we should be able to continue going on like this, like such. And so what we want to do now is we need 14k for a facility. So if we can get a village, which I can fit, perfect. So we want to get a village in here. Maybe you guys can do your farm placement a little better than mine so you don't have to wiggle it in. Oh, there we go. Get that down. So that'll just make our farms in this radius of it cheaper. So this farm, this farm, this farm. So now we only need 12k. These sell for 2k each. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we've already got 3k saved up. So we can go straight for a... Oh, darn it. We're $300 off. But we can go for our facility in just a second. Oh, I forgot to sell a farm. That's why. So go for that. And then we want to go for the valuable bananas. And now we just kind of want to start getting up a bit of a Republic spam and going on to more, more farms. Oh, did not mean to click that. Ah, here's our Moab. So the Moab comes out on round 46? That seems odd. Quite a few balloons right now. We're going to go for that. Just in case. We're going to get ready to spike. We're going to spike a lot. There we go. Just a few spikes. It's a little bit of a tricky round, but nothing too bad. We're going to go for another research facility. Round 48. This might be the round. If it is the round, what we'll do is we'll just go back and we will see. If rainbows come out on this round, it's the round. But I think it's round 49. Round 48 is deceivingly easy. If regen rainbows come out. Let's see. Any regen rainbows yet? No region rainbows on round 49, so round or round 48, so round 49 is the round. So what we're gonna do now is we we have 26,000 saved up. We got four facilities to sell in one banana republic, as well as a village. So we're gonna get those up. We want four of those. Want an Arctic wind right about here. Wanna get a balloon impact. We get two balloon impacts, they're pretty good uh pop and power. There we go. Now we're going to go sell all these. And we're just going to spam a couple ring fires. You want to make sure nothing hits the track over here, as that will end the region farm. And then we can sell this. Uh, we can keep the beekeeper up. It won't do enough damage to really affect anything. And we want to get up our balloon impacts. Make sure to get missile shooters on them too. Uh, they can be set to first or close, doesn't really matter. A bit of our frost and a deep breeze. Oh, not a bio frost. We only need an arctic wind. Sorry, arctic wind and a deep freeze and permafrost. And then from here, we want to build up a couple super monkeys. These will be 
a fair amount of our popping power. I want to get no range upgrades on these and just go to Sun Gods. We we'll able to forward two, okay, two almost three Sun Gods, and get a Summon Whirlwind. That probably should have been done earlier, but it doesn't matter too too much. And if you feel scared with this defense, you can just go for a, another Ring of Fire and start the round. Starts off very easy, just some greens and rainbows. And then some ceramics, and the ceramics and everything will be handled very easily this round. And here come the region rainbows. So the wizard will start the region farm. And yeah, here we go. You just kind of give it a second to get started. As you can see, we're already getting more and more region balloons. Our cash is increasing exponentially. And if we slow it down here, you can see the whole mess that's going on. The beekeeper doesn't really affect anything. He's going to get lots of pops, though. And yeah. And we can go for another sun god just to get a little more popping power. That arctic wind and the... What do we call it? Ooh, ring of fire. So you do need to have ring of fire unlocked before you can really do this effectively. Without the ring of fire, it's nearly impossible. I've done it where I've had like 12 sun gods and no ring of fires and I still die because it's just not enough popping power. I do believe the ring of fires though have close to infinite gears. So they're pretty good for this. And now that we're kind of, we're doing pretty good, we actually have a lot of money right now. So what we can do is we can build up another ring of fire here. You just kind of get lots of ring of fires with all the money you're making. You can also do this before going to a late game strategy. So if you want to get up lots of money so you can fill them up really quickly with temples, you can do this and just let it sit for a couple hours and you'll get lots and lots of money. And that's kind of the strategy here. We're going to get up another ring of fire. And we're going to get up some super monkeys. Again, making sure they're not hitting the track. If they hit the track, they kind of mess everything up and destroy the region farm. That's it for the video guys. If you did enjoy, do hit that like button and subscribe. This has been your host buddy boy 5000 such a dead channel. And yeah. Have a good one.